Hey everybody, Travis Bogard here with the Colt Breakers competition video. The first event is going to be the Log Press Max. We're going to be going up in jumps. You're going to get three attempts to get to that max. A volunteer with a clipboard is going to be calling out weights as they occur. When you guys hear a weight that you want to attempt, be sure to line up behind that volunteer. When it's your turn to get up there, go check in with him so that he can write down your weight as you complete it. When the time comes for you to get up there and hit your attempt, a judge is going to invite you to the platform after checking the log for the correct weight. Afterwards, you're going to have 60 seconds to hit your attempt. Make sure it's a good attempt. Everything's locked out and everything's looking good. Guys, if you do not lock out the log, you will not get the rep. The judge is just going to sit there looking at you. It's going to be awkward for everybody. Make sure you get that lockout. The last thing to note, don't let it rest on your head. Guys, this is illegal, this is not allowed. Don't let it rest on your head, just keep pressing through. Equipment allowable is gonna include just about everything except Strongman Corp Grip Shirts. The second event is going to be the wagon wheel deadlift ladder. You will have time to strap up into the axle before starting your run. When you are strapped in and ready to go, make sure you nod to the judge. They'll give us a brief countdown and let you know when it's time to lift. Guys, it is volunteers loading that wagon wheel, so don't get too crazy. If they have to accommodate you, it's just going to eat into your time. That said, it'll be the same volunteers for each run, so we're going to try to make it fair for the athletes. Some classes are making 50 pound jumps and some are 20. Double check iron podium. The equipment allowable is going to include knee sleeves, belts, just about any kind of a strap that you guys have access to, figure eights, figure sixes, but no deadlift suits, no deadlift suits. The third event is going to be the keg load medley. We're going to adjust the yoke to get as close to 52 inches as we can. In addition, the women will be loading to 48 inches. Again, we're going to be getting the bar as close to 48 inches as we can. You'll be allowed to have one hand on the implement before the judge says go, and then you can start your run. Note that the last keg will be 5 feet away from the implement, the second keg will be 10 feet away from the implement, and the first keg is going to be 15 feet away from the implement. You do have to lift them in order from lightest to middle to heaviest. For reps to count, they've got to get over the bar clean without using the yoke as assistance. If you do use the yoke as assistance, it will be a no rep. They'll get you the keg back as fast as they can. You can give it another shot. The fourth event is a Trump Atlas stone to shoulder. You're not going to be able to start touching the implement, but as soon as he says go, you can go ahead and grab a hold of that stone. There is no restriction on bouncing back and forth between the stones, as long as you get it done within a minute. Tacky towels will be allowed, as well as spray tacky. There will, however, be no regular tacky. None of the goop, guys, no goop. The last event is gonna be the farmer's carry event. You will be making a 50-foot trip down to the keg, going around the keg, and then bringing the implements all the way back. Note that the run isn't over until you get the farmer's handles past the finish line, so go all the way through. Don't cut it short. We are allowing one drop during the run. You get one drop. So if the farmer's handles fall, go ahead and pick them back up and keep running. The second drop is a DQ and we'll measure your score from where they drop. Guys, remember that we're bringing in four judges who are also coaches from around the region. They're going to be offering up mini clinics right before the start of each event to give you some instruction and some tips to go about performing those. They're also going to be available during the event should you have any questions, concerns, or anything like that. Lifting is going to be starting at 10, but we should have equipment out before 9 for anybody that needs to get a warm-up in. Bison Nutrition and Energy is going to be at the event with a table offering free drinks to athletes. They'll also have a small portion of their menu available for sale. Note that we don't have any parking information for you guys at this time, but we will be publishing it as we get it. Um, also, the event is actually in a parking lot, so bring chairs, bring canopies, whatever you're going to need to be comfortable. We will be competing outside no matter what, in April, in Cheyenne. It could be hot, it could be cold, it could be dry, it could be wet. Plan accordingly. We moved the event from the Del Range location to the Pershing location. Uh, it's a bigger parking lot, it's just going to be a better venue for us. Guys, weigh-ins are going to be the day before at ATR between 10 and 12 and 4 and 6.30. We'll also be having weigh-ins on the day of the event from 8 to 9, but note that we will be closing weigh-ins at 9 a.m., so if you're late, you're late. The volunteers that are going to be putting on weigh-ins are also going to be the same volunteers that are getting our sheets set up and everything, so we got to get them time to prepare. If you guys need to weigh in outside of those times, please get with me. We're not trying to make this hard on you. We'll figure out a way to get you checked in. If you're a super heavyweight, one of the heavyweight classes, no, you don't have to weigh in, but yes, you do have to be checked in before 9 o'clock on the morning of the event. Do not be late.